In this video we'll talk about Helium 10 and in particular we'll show the Keyword Manager which was released very recently and my guest is Karin from Helium 10. She will show how you can use this uh, Keyword Manager which uh, collects your keyword research into different folders and how you can reuse these folders of keywords in different Helium 10 tools. Uh, watch this video and also if you want to see more videos with Helium 10, find the playlist in the description and also if you want to try Helium 10, find the links in the description with coupon codes which will give you some uh, discounts if you use this tool. And as always, if you want to uh, learn more about Amazon and hear more interviews like this from uh, with different Amazon experts and software creators, check the subscription button below this video, click that and click the notification bell as well and enjoy this conversation. Hello Karin, it's nice to have you here. Could you please tell us what you do and uh, what is uh, Helium 10? How does it help Amazon sellers? Yes, thank you so much for having me on your channel, Augustus. This is super fun. So I'm a brand evangelist at Helium 10, which basically means I'm like so obsessed with these products. I mean, these tools that Helium 10 offers through their software that I want to preach like a pastor preaching. Like I love these products so much. So Helium 10 is an all-in-one software suite of tools that provides everything that you need to really get educated information to sell on Amazon. So we have tools that range from keyword research, and they are the best keyword research tools in the world, listing optimization tools, product research tools, listing and analytics tools, PPC tools, the list goes on and on. And these tools make my life so much easier as an Amazon seller. And this literally has helped thousands and thousands of Amazon sellers like you. So this is going to be a game changer for anybody that wants to increase their game on Amazon to get real helpful information that helps you make better educated decisions in your business. All right. And in this session, we will be talking about Keyword Manager. It's a tool specifically to do something with keywords. Karen will show us very shortly. And also, I want to remind that in the description of this video, you will find a playlist with different other Helium 10 videos we did in the past so that you can learn more about this software. So Karen, let's uh, look how does Keyword Manager look like and how does it help Amazon sellers? So Augustus, I am super excited to share that literally last week, Helium 10 launched this incredible new tool called Keyword Manager. And literally this is a game changer. This has saved me so much time already as I've done listing um, updates and audits. This helps tremendously save you so much time. So in the past, when I was doing keyword research, I had multiple tabs open. You know, I was doing keyword research using our powerful tool, Cerebral, the number one keyword research tool on the market. And then I would go ahead and I would do different keyword research using our magnet tool to get more of the long tail keywords. And then I would also open another <laughs> tab to do Frankenstein and then process all of those different keywords to consolidate them into just the unique keywords. And then I was having a different tab with um, an Excel spreadsheet where I would put these different specific keywords. I would have like a long list of keywords and I'd have like a short list of keywords of only the 15 to 20 most important keywords that I wanted to target in a listing. And basically it was, it was fine, but it just took so much more time. And so with our new keyword manager tool, you can have a really easy way to organize all of your different keywords in one easy location and then just the interface to open them in different tools. But let me just show you what I mean. So if I go ahead and let's say I start here in Cerebro and I want to do um, some good keyword research with a product that I'm looking to start selling, I can go ahead and I can create a whole new folder for those keywords. So I'm just gonna pull up a past search that I've done just because it makes it easier than you know, showing a whole different um, example. So let's say I'm going to do, hmm, let me just pull one up actually, one second. Okay, let's just use 
this example for these Neutrogena wipes. And if you watched our past video on listing optimization using scribbles, just a teaser, it's a good one. So I highly recommend watching it. So let's just do some quick keyword research for these makeup removing wipes. And let's go ahead and put it in Cerebro. So this is a reverse ASIN tool and you can put up to 10 different ASINs and you can really figure out which are the most relevant keywords for that product. And so it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna pull up some different keywords for us. And I'm guessing since this is such a big brand and a really popular product, we're gonna have a ton of keywords. So you can see I've already done brief keyword research with this product and I'm only showing keywords that are ranked on page one in the first position all the way up to the 18th position. But if I didn't have that, let's just get rid of that. You can see that literally, I mean, it shows right there, there's 29,000 different keyword possibilities. So it can get really crazy, really fast. But I guess we'll just keep it just for time's sake. So right here, just the keywords that are showing on page one are 1,831 different keyword phrases. So that's a ton. And obviously when you're doing keyword research, I would recommend making sure that you're you're analyzing it with different ASINs so you can figure out what's the most relevant keywords. And then from there, you can, you can kind of base a strategy for your listing optimization and your PPC. But let's say that I wanted to just save all of these 1800 um, keyword phrases. What I can do is I can create a new folder or I can add it to an existing folder. So this is a new feature that came out last week and it's right here, add keywords to my list. So let's just create a new folder and let's call this folder um, keywords on page one for makeup wipes. And if I click save, then I've created a new folder and I've saved all of those 1800 different keyword phrases. And then let's say I want to go over to Magnet, another one of our powerful keyword research tools. And let's say I want to find all the long tail keywords for makeup wipes. What you can do is get keywords. And then what I like to do is just use the smart complete option. And I'll show you that in just a second. And it's going to show me all the different variations of makeup wipes. Do you have any guesses, Augustus, how many different smart complete options there are just for makeup wipes? Oh, uh, Don't peek. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> now I saw that I did. Oh, no worries. So, wow, that's crazy. So over 1,200, wow. 1,300 different smart complete options. So how you just filter that down is click on smart complete right here in the match type. What does it mean, smart complete? So, you know, when you click on, when you're on Amazon, let me just show you. Ah, autocomplete, that one. Yes, it's oh, very right. similar to mm -hmm. autocomplete, but with autocomplete, it just is showing the keywords after makeup wipes, right? So with the smart complete, it's showing you all of the keywords, no matter what the order is, what the, um, so some of those will show up just in, some will show up after makeup wipes and then some of those phrases will show up before. So it gives you a better variety of all of the different long tail keywords. So you can see a yeah, makeup remover wipe Cetaphil, makeup remover wipes hydrating, makeup remover wipes individually wrapped. So a lot of really good keywords that we can look into here. And then it shows all of the different um, scores, which I think, you know, it's, it's somewhat important. I would say I, I like to look at more of the search volume and kind of figure out how much each keyword phrase is being searched for every month. So it looks like the most highly searched phrase is makeup remover wipes, makeup wipes, and then it goes down from there. So I can go ahead and I can, you know, look at these individually and figure out which ones I want to have in my folder. But let's just say I want to have all of these so I could add them to an existing folder or I could create a new folder and maybe just call these uh, long tail keywords for makeup wipes. So I've saved that. And then how I access that folder is if you go down here to my list, it will populate and it will show you your keywords. So and this is a, a feature that we've had for a while with products. So when you're doing product research in this 
my list, you would see all of the different products that you've saved and you want to keep track of. Now we have a keywords tab that you have all of your keywords nicely organized, which for me, again, this has saved me so much time. I love this new tool. So from here, what's really cool is let's say I, I just want to um, show some of the keywords. Well, let's say I want to use all of my keywords that I looked at for, um, looks like I have my full keyword list. And let's say I want to export this to Frankenstein directly. And I want to filter these all down and consolidate them just to the unique words. And what Frankenstein does, how do you, for what do you use it? Yes. Good question. So you can see with like this list, I did my keyword research and I had like a thousand different keyword phrases, right? But maybe I want to figure out what, um, I only want to see the unique words from those phrases. So it took 1100 different phrases and it consolidated them down to just 30 unique words. So why that's important is when I'm thinking about like these phrases and I want to index for those phrases, they don't necessarily have to be in phrase form, right? So even if I just have acne in the back end or I have products in the back end or in a subject matter, if I have it at least somewhere in my listing, then hopefully I can index for these phrases just by having the word because these words are what makes up the phrases. So I don't know if I explained that very well, Augustus, but basically yeah, it's a consolidation tool to take all of the different phrases and consolidate down to just the unique words. So it took me from, yeah. you know, all these different 1100 phrases, 170 words down to just 30 unique words. As you can see, makeup, 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 that's used a bunch of times. Facial was used a bunch of times. So now I just have just the unique words. So it's a lot more manageable list. So then when I bring this list to scribbles, and again, I showed more on a different video that I recommend watching how you use scribbles, but then when I bring that list into scribbles, so now I have a more manageable list that I can easily put those, um, some, I can put some in a bullet point, I can put some in subject matter, and then mostly I wanna make sure I have them in my backend search terms. So I can start typing them in, And then it's going to cross them off. And then I know, okay, I'm good. So ideally, if I have all of these different keywords in my back end, these unique words, then I'm going to hopefully index for them because they're at least showing up somewhere in my listing. So then what's super, super cool is you can also take your keyword list and you can check and see if they are indeed indexing on Amazon. So this tool is super, super cool, I guess. So what you can do is again, you can use our manager, our keyword manager and just upload it directly into Scribbles instead of having to like have a different um, Google sheet or you know wherever you were saving in the past. Now you can just upload it really quickly from your folder. So let's say I wanna check on all of my um, makeup wipe list and I wanna save all of these different phrases I'm being indexed for. So let me just put in an ASIN into index checker. And then let's see, now ideally, I mean, not ideally, but of course these are probably already indexed since I got these keywords from them. But if this was a new listing that I had created and I was putting these different keywords into my listing and I wanted to check to see if I was actually indexing for them, then I can go and check it here. And so if it gives me a check mark, it means I am indeed indexed. I am searchable for that phrase on Amazon. But if I had a dash, like you see right here, it means I'm not indexed for that phrase makeup under $5. So I could go ahead and I can make a change to my listing. So maybe I want to put, let's see, let's go back into scribbles and I need to have under $5 somewhere in my listing. So for me, if this was an important keyword, obviously, and maybe something I'm not trying to index for, but if it was, then I'd wanna make sure I have those words somewhere in my listing. So under $5, so I put that in my backend search terms, and then hopefully within a day or two, I go back into index checker and it will be indeed indexed with a check mark. So it's a really cool way to check that 
And I will say, I guess this, I know we've covered a lot, but Helium 10, we have invested so much in, in trying to provide amazing information so that you can go back and learn. And we have these learn buttons right here. You can watch these videos. And Bradley has done such a good job on the training for these. And you can go ahead and you can watch them so you know exactly how to use each of our tools and then become a, a Helium 10 expert to make sure you're getting the most out of this. And I think this is so, so important. I would recommend you know going through every day and just saying, I'm gonna learn how to use Index Checker and just watch these videos. And I'll, I'll be honest, a lot of times I watch them at like 1.5 speed, as you can see, and you can learn it really quickly and just get a better idea of how you can use this in your Amazon business. And you'll learn a ton. I've talked to so many, even really big sellers that had no idea that Helium 10 could do a bunch of things just because there's a lot of cool tricks and tips and why it was created and how you can apply it to your business. So just go ahead and click that learn button for each of our tools. We have tons of training. So I know we've gone over fast today, Augustus, but again, if people want to learn more, I highly re recommend watching that learn button and you can get a deep dive into all the tools. Great. Thank you very much, Karen. And uh, also the reason we invited you, we wanted to learn more about Helium 10, uh, the features, what you, what you have and how you help Amazon sellers. So you will also, those who are watching, you will find the link below to more videos with Helium 10. We have a playlist. And also if you want to try this software, you will find the links to sign up and some coupon codes, which will give you sh certain discounts. So thank you very much, Karen, and good luck in your business. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something or refreshed your memory about Helium 10 software. And uh, if you want to try this tool, uh, check the links below. You will find also the discount codes in the description. And now I would like to invite you to watch uh, this playlist uh, where we collected all the videos we created with Helium 10's team, with Bradley and with uh, other people. Uh, so please watch it and see you in the next video. Bye bye.